20 ranking immediately. Over the course of his career, Lou won nearly 250 games and is one of the highest ever, by the way, and is the only coach in NCAA history to take six different teams to a bowl game. Think of that. Wherever Lou went, football glory followed. He was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 2008. And I will say this about Lou, everybody loves him. Everybody respects him. He's tough as hell, and yet they all respect Lou. They just, uh, it's amazing. They love him and they respect him. Sometimes it's a combination that doesn't come together. You know, they respect, but uh, you are, uh, you are something. I never coached football. I coached life, he said, and it's true. His players uh, really always loved him. He's turned his inspirational story and motivational message into three best-selling books. He's also been an exceptional philanthropist. That's all that stuff that he collected. He's opened educational opportunities for students, provided insulin pumps to diabetic children. And we've just brought down the price and the cost of insulin, right? You're shaking your head. It's amazing what we did, right? Insulin, you couldn't buy it. It was destroying families. People were going without it. Now it's $35, right? You can't believe it. I see you're an insulin pro. You're involved, right? Family. That's great. Now it's, uh, we've done a great job with, with uh, costs, but insulin, maybe Lindsay is one of the best. $35. Uh, they were paying 10 times that amount. You couldn't get it. So we changed that around a little. And supported cancer research and has traveled to 13 countries to visit the American troops. Lou's leadership and his faith and kindness have inspired and uplifted millions of fellow citizens. He's one of the greatest titans in American football history, and his towering reputation will endure forever in the chronicles of athletics, but more importantly, in the chronicles of life, because he's really a life teacher. That's what he is. He's a life teacher. He teaches people how to live and how to live properly and how to live with dignity. So I'd like to now ask the military aide to come forward and prepare for me to give our highest medal. We have the Congressional Medal of Honor, and we have the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And I will say, I give away a lot of Congressional Medal of Honors, and uh, that's a tough one to get, you know? That's a tough one to get, because they come in with, uh, when they come in, a lot of times, mostly they can't come in for obvious reasons, but they come in, with, they're unbelievably brave people, and uh, they have had more bullet holes and bullets shot at them and in them. That's the Congressional Medal of Honor. Your route is a much easier one, I have to say. <laughs> as tough as it may have been, it's a much easier one. I, I always say that about the two. I'll remember that. It's your route is a much easier, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So I'd like to ask first Lou to say a few words, and then uh, we're gonna present. Thank you very much. Various comments and the opportunity to receive this award. But I want to assure you how proud I am, not only to receive the award, but I'm even prouder to receive it from President Donald Trump, who I think was the greatest president during my lifetime. And the thing you've done for this country, given people the opportunity. Mr. President, you talk about making money. When I went to Notre Dame, they had a policy. The head football coach was not allowed to make more than the president of Notre Dame. And the president of Notre Dame was a priest who took a vow of poverty. <laughs> <laughs> I made 95000 I, I get this award. I, I accept it humbly. I, and you don't go in life saying, I, I want to win this award. You just wake up one day, and it happens. But this award, as great as it is, does not define who Lou Holtz is. My beautiful family, my precious wife, my friends, you have determined who I am. I just try to be a solid person. As I think it was uh, said, the two most important days in your life, one's the day you're born, the other's the day you discover why you're born. When we discover we're born basic to help other people and overcome problems and difficulties, are going to come our way. And I just cannot be proud to be part of this country. I cannot be proud to receive this award from an individual I respect and admire as much as President Trump. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. so much. Thank you.
Attention to orders. Louis L. Holt, an American sports legend, is awarded the Medal of Freedom. A member of the College Football Hall of Fame, Holt's whole achievements include 249 wins, 12 World Game victories, and a national championship. He is the only football coach to lead six different programs to bowl games. His tenure at Notre Dame was historic, securing 10 straight winning seasons and the 1988 national championship. Off the field, he is a staple of sports television, a powerful motivational speaker, a devout Catholic, and a dedicated philanthropist. The United States proudly honors Louis L. Holt for his contributions to our nation. Signed, Donald J. Trump, the President of the United States of America. Congratulations, how are you feeling?